Hi, I'm Matthew, reporting on the Byzantine Broadcast Network in Fairfax, Virginia. About the Byzantine geography, government and church conflict, and also the cultural contributions. The current emperor of Rome at that time was Constantine. He decided to move his empire to Constantinople. One of the reasons why he did this was because Rome was being invaded by, invaded by barbaric troops. This led to him not only having a far safer place, moving the new empire's main stronghold to Constantinople, but he did this for multiple reasons. One was because he was... Um, an egomaniac. Second reason was it was more defendable, there weren't barbarians invading, and it was a center trade route, meaning that Rome would prosper even more if it wasn't actually in, well, Rome. Um, this actually increased the ec economic value and the worth of the city itself, but it also left the rest of Rome undefended, and it kind of led to its downfall. In the year of 330 AD, Constantinople, the new capital of Rome, is a city located in between Europe and Asia, and between the Mediterranean Sea, the Arabian Sea, and the Black Sea. The Black Sea is actually important on account that it actually was helpful for doing amber trade in between Orthodox um, Catholics, which was actually starting to rise up in the western part of the old Roman Empire, and basically was turning into a smaller version of Russia, basically being the roots for the entire nation to slowly over time rise. Constantinople maintained protection of the eastern frontier, which kept distance from Germanic invasions, provided a crossroad of trade, and it also fortified on a peninsula. Constantinople is a natural harbor built on high peninsula surrounded by three bodies of water, the Borporis, the Sea of Marina, and the Golden Horn. Throughout history, the, Baz the Byzantine Empire relied on marina trade, therefore on its ports and harbors as nautical points for the movement of trade, goods, people, and armies. It's a triangular peninsula on the very edge of Europe, separated from Asia by a narrow stretch of the Barporous Strat waters. As you can see from the map, the Byzantine Empire, early on and later, Constantinople was the ideal trade route since it's the middle of Barporous, the Black Sea, and the Mediterranean Seas. The city was the largest and richest during the late Eastern European Empire because of its strategic position within trade routes of Africa, Asia, Europe, along the Legion Sea and the Black Sea. The Sea of Marmara is the uh, is the inland sea which borders a Turkey that connects the Black Sea to the Aegean Sea. Bosporus, the only passage connecting the Black Sea to the Mar Sea of Marina into the Mediterranean. Byzantine art and lecture were the hot items of trade, then later Bulgarian line to the Arabian perfumes. Spices and coins were further traded using gas and copper alloys as weights for in measurement. And someday with clay, stamps, tags, traded goods of antiquities during the Byzantine Empire, and now olive oil, wine, wheat, honey, fish sauce. Pottery, terracotta, and for was used as a storage vessel. Later in the 12th century, wooden barrels were used and today still used for wine. Justinian came to power in 527. He could rely on an empire that had never been stronger since the times of Constantine itself. He required a lost Roman territory in Greece and North Africa and a expanded trade. But Justinian's dream had come of restoring the old world of Roman Empire. And to do that, he operated of a coefficient of organizing the Roman laws, which was very good, and tried to regain territories that were conquered by barbarians in the West. That was a very that was very bad. North Africa was easily conquered in 533, but to conquer Italy from the Goths took a long and difficult war that drained the resources of the empire and took away its attention from the Persian threat. Italy was conquered in 555 to become a poor and ravaged by year of wars and unable to help 
or solve the economic difficulties of the empire. So, after the death of Justinian in 565, the empire was unable to defend the newly conquered areas. Justinian created a set of laws called the Justinian Code that was that was the law throughout the empire. Many of our modern laws can be tracked back to Justinian's code. Justinian's wife, Empress Theodora, possessed and protected the rights to women in the empire. She courageously stayed during a riot which prompted her husband to stay. The riot was controlled and Justinian continued to rule the Byzantine Empire. The East and the West Church decided started to have a divide after Jesus Christ. What happened is you had the Orthodox Christians that believed in Jesus while the Western did not. This led to a huge divide right in the middle of the two churches. Justinian and Theodora both tried to help solve this by working together and since one of them was Orthodox and the other wasn't they thought this might help, but despite their differences, it still wasn't enough to convince the two sides to come to peace with each other. All and the crack was never be, has never been able to be sealed ever since then. It still lives on today as a huge reminder of just how polarizing this side of the churches can be. Here are the beautiful pendants, icons, frescoes, and mosaics that are still revered today in museums and in archaeological sites. Religious images and icons are used by many Orthodox Christians in the East. Mosaics contain remnants or recreations of murals and floors made of similar colorful tiles that were often found in Byzantine public and religious buildings. Paintings and frescoes, mosaics, and illuminated manuscripts and on wood panels were two-dimensional medias. Icons were more religious than anesthetic in nature, and these art forms enabled translation of their church's theology. The Hagia Sophia is a Byzantine dome church built by Justin. It is larger than the Colosseum in Rome. It is the most important Byzantine architectural feature. Complex stones rested upon its massive spires and windows filtered light through thin sheets of alder blast to softly, softly illuminate the interiors. Mosaics covered many parts of the walls. And domes, frescoes were painted on wet plasters or ceilings. The Ru Russia was last conquered was the last conquered conquest of the Byzantine art. The Russian Church is also is still Orthodox, and even their custom, the seal of Albrecht, and the art have a strong Byzantine influence. Some of these Byzantine contributions have influenced the designs that they use in their architecture, office building, churches, sagiophobias, and personal jewels. Ancient Roman coins were turned into earrings. These days depicted Constantine the Great, Roman Empire, to convert into Christianity. Constantine played an important role in the religion's tolerance throughout the empire. He was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. He built a new imperial residence at the Byzantine and renamed it the capital of Constantinople after himself. It would later become the capital of the empire for over 1,000 years. The medieval church upheld Constantine as a procreation of virtue while, so, while server rulers invoked him as a symbol of imperial legitimacy and identity. Constantine is revered, revered as a saint by several Christian religions. Pagan religions of the Roman Empire continued to thrive during, after, during and after Constantine's reign. And current scholarship suggests that his decision to convert was way more political motivated than divine inspiration.